Whoa, it's Woolsey. Welcome back to Build Week. This is the fourth day in the series. We have done a pretty solid chunk of this level. There's like 35 seconds of like pretty decent decoration. I mean, nothing's finished, I don't think. I need to make transitions and like extra little details and music sync and movements and whatnot. Like design these spikes, need to make those saw blades a thing, transition this in. Probably make these blocks a little bit more clear or like tie the spikes in somehow. I need to figure that out. But then we have a pretty neat transition into this ball part robot part kind of thing. I'm not sure on adding more detail. I'm kind of scared of running out of uh, time. But then we have this wave part and I don't know how I'm going to structure this because we have a few moving blocks like that. We could get rid of them. We could keep them. Don't know. Oh boy. We have some work to do. Should I remove the moving objects that we put last time? Because it kind of works, but also like why? It would be so much easier if I just don't move them. I feel like it's kind of pointless. Let's not move these. Sorry for the movement fans. Let's just make sure this is playable with the movements gone. It feels different. It definitely feels different. That's fine though, that's, that's, it's really fine. How do I transition out of the wave? What game mode do you guys wanna see? Spider? People mentioned spider for the last part and I didn't do it and I feel bad. Making sure my slope hitboxes are good. Can spider hit the ceiling of an object? Let's double, double check. Wow, you can't! Shout out to the no people. How am I gonna, how am I gonna structure that then? Cause that sucks. If I put a line here, that's just terrible structuring. <laughs> yeah. I really want to make a sloped entrance, but it might just make sense if we just have a vertical portal. And what group is this? 420! Haha! <laughs> How do I transition out of here? Let's make a nice smooth transition in. That's fair, right? Will they show Riz? I know Yun Hasso just got to number one on the leaderboards, but you my real number one. They say that there's a creator point stealer on the loose. That Viper and guy. I'm kind of inspired by him. Can I steal your heart? <laughs> End this right now? Okay. Ooh. No, you die like that though. That's scary. Wait, you could use H-blocks in a spider. I thought, bruh, I thought Zyron was kidding. I didn't know you could do that. I thought the H was only for cube. Okay, this is going to be a hype structure. We're going to put an orb in the ceiling like this. So you swap gravity and then you click the orb. That's cool. Let's transition out at this point. Big orb. We're gaming right now. Making so much gameplay this episode. Why am I structuring this? I really, it, it's not needed. I'm just doing it. Let's shrink this portal a little bit. We'll have a black orb that goes up into a blue here. And then we can kind of like wave through with some portals, I think. We can have like a title screen that flashes here. What are we going to call this level? Uh, are we calling it Trippy Trippy or Trip Trip? Let's do the poll right now. Trippy Trippy or Trip Trip? Trippy Trippy is one by a mile. Okay. Let's just test this gameplay. I think there might be a slight difficulty spike from the start of this wave. Whoa, you can skip some. What did that do? Hold on, I need to watch my playback. So the block is over here. I missed this. That actually sucks for real, for real. Now it doesn't reach the block? Are you kidding? Ooh, what happened there? I need to watch the playback again. Bang. I guess I have to do that. Dude, that has got to go. Can I actually beat this part, please? I've been playing this for like five minutes and I still haven't done it. Woo! That goes hard. So we're going to make structures around that and then get straight to work here. This is going to be over soon and then we start making cool stuff again. We've all seen it before. We already know what I'm going to be doing. Shwing. Alrighty. So we have a bunch of blocks set out here. So now we cut shapes. So you're going, you're going. Let's put this on. Don't fade, don't enter. We're going to put this on, I think, B3. Oh, wait, I forgot about the wave. I was going to put this in the wave too. Dude, what am I doing? I completely forgot. We'll set this up first. We're going to put it on either black or background colored. Probably black black, I'm gonna say. What's up, GD Colon? I love GD Colon. What do you think? Do you like my impression of myself? Oh, this one's like really off grid. That's gonna suck. That's gonna suck to cover up around the edges. Yeah, look at that. That stinks. Oh god. I, I just wanted to go and fix that immediately because uh, it was bothering me. We have to have ground spikes there, but other than that, we can start getting rid of our structures. Not getting rid of them, but just making them invisible. 
These have all got to go invisible. And that's going to make playtesting impossible for now just because it's black on black. And that's the main gimmick of masking, really, is that you can't really see what's in front or behind. So I can add stuff that like kind of disappears at the edges. So now that's pretty much just non-existent. You shouldn't be able to see any of the structures apart from the spikes. Let's get started with the background here. So we have these on... B3 and 10, that's a pretty good layer. What, what sort of thing are we going to do? I was going to use circles, but then I realized that that's scale hacking. Can I scale hack? Let the scale hack consume you. Let's go on non-preview mode. We're going to lock this to the x-axis on 427. Let's give this circle a center point to rotate on. The center of these four objects is this little circle here, right? If I move the center down and to the right and just change its editor layer, that means that this circle is now going to rotate basically around that bottom right point i think so if i rotate now the circle will rotate like this even though the center is up here now if i add a bunch of layers to it and we'll keep going we'll scale hack because colon's orders sorry since they're so thick they're gonna touch if i keep scaling up at that rate so what i might do is just make this one like noticeably bigger so there's a little gap between and then we have this tiny little center which is going to be 439 and it's going to lock on 427 so all of these circles are going to start rotating so we'll copy paste move one to the right increase the layer and start taking away our degrees so now we should have i didn't even play test this properly sorry i got sidetracked since our center was slightly off from the center of the circle these should kind of teeter around like that but it's so slow so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jack these up boom yeah that's what i'm going for you see behind that whole screen let's just see how it works Ooh, that looks really cool i like it so we can hue these. It, it literally looks like it's pulsing in the middle. That's so sick. We've got to hue the edges too. Can't forget that. How do I make this look cooler? I like that it gets more chaotic, but it loses like the satisfying curve that you originally got from the teeter. See, that looks nice because the circle's like right in the middle and it's on the same line as everything else. But then it why does it go off? Okay, low key, what I might have to do? I'm making another backup. We're playing with this now. Build week three. Yeah, that's a fumble. Wait, that's kind of a vibe. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, it's rotating while it's doing that. That's, oh God, they're gonna have to have their own centers. I'm adding a, a center. The center needs to move on with its set. And then with this, we have to have a group here that moves those, which is, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, yeah, I can already see this causing a problem. Oh, we have four, three, no, four, four, what? Oh my God, this is so confusing. This is, Wow, 443 is a center. Oh my god. I don't think that- No, this is this is not happening. Nope, not happening. They're gonna have to fade on, I'm afraid. I am not doing all that. That is a nightmare. Whoa! What the heck? What happened there? Wolsey breaks his effect, part 4 million? I know what happened. I moved the center. I moved the whole thing to the left and I didn't move the center. Which is pretty funny. If I really quickly, this is just for testing purposes. I'm not actually trying to do this. I, I, if it works, I mean, I don't see why not. I copy paste, go to like editor layer four or something, maybe five where there's no objects, build helper, and then move that center over here. Then there'll be like an, a, an opposing effect that might be cooler. Is that better? This could actually work. Too chaotic. That's valid. Ooh, and then this, this, this would, this would be so goofy if it were, if it like looked better. And then copy paste, put that on editor layer, something like 4 billion, build helper and actually fix it and then move it up a bit and take it off the low opacity maybe. We could put like an actual high opacity version in the middle and that would just be like the cherry on the top. So the other stuff is just around the outside to texture. You know what I mean? That could be a, a cool, like a high detail thing, right? Should I keep that for like extra detail around the outside? Cause it kind of textures it and it looks cool now we have to add more detail let's get some flashy vibes that's gonna be hype if we put some extra details in here we're gonna we're gonna cheese ball this strange terminology i know well it's my new term that i've coined for covering the edges of lines like this with a little glow piece so that it gradients like that <laughs> If these arrows could speak, they would literally be like, purr. There's no one else like, get that vibe? That's clean. Actually, they look kind of goofy. Oh, what? Oh, these lines are ruining my illusion. <laughs> that was probably the nerdiest thing that I've ever said. Something showed, someone, something leaked it. How are they showing? What? Oh, it's the triangles. Dude, the triangles are such spoil sports. 
Damn. Okay. These arrows flopped for real, for real. Not a fun. Help, 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 help. Thought of a freaking banger, dude. Thought of a banger. So if I put a piece of glow here, holy, 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 holy smokes. If this works, it's gonna be the most flames decoration I've ever conceived in my life. We get our we get our mask layer, right? We stick it right against the edge. I need I need a line that goes over the glow vertically, but doesn't go over the edge. And to make things more clear, that's how much room I have in there. I could also just give myself more space, lol. Why don't I think of that? And then I can just like step it down. This could literally be sick. Okay, you're going to the sky, okay? You're on black. So whatever you cover here, you're basically adding a slit in the design, right? Right there, that's a Oh, that's really skinny. That's really skinny. We get this skinny line and it's like a colorful slit. It's not as cool as I thought. I feel like the triangles make it not as cool when they move in, but if I give this the benefit of the doubt, it, I did something good. I did something good. That looks cool. Now we put deco on top of that. Dude, it's, it's, it looks so cool. It actually looks so cool. I'm so proud of that. All right, now, now we get to the point where Woolsey's design trick is really useless because he just copy pastes the crap out of it. Bro, it's so, it's so lit that I can even do that. It looks so fire. That's like the first time I've actually been extremely confident with a, a detail. <laughs> Dude, I co I cooked with this one. I can't lie. I cooked. Where did the 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 over where does the overlay go? I need to test this for this part. So the overlay is here. It's swiping over the little black glow that goes over the object you see. I need to know when that fades out, when it stops happening. It's kind of important because I have some objects at the end that are layered above it because of the following overlay. I just need to make sure that it doesn't like break right here. So it disappears. No, it looks fine. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, this part's mid. This part definitely needs to be fixed up. Should I like revamp the beginning? I'm kind of I'm kind of conscious about the beginning now. The beginning sucks. No, the, the colors are weak in this part, dude. I don't know how to change it. Maybe should I finally take the background off this stupid moon thing? <laughs> dude, wow, what do you know? It looks a billion times better. <laughs> Bruh, that's so dumb. Let's move on because we just in, we significantly improved that part. We can design the soul blades here, I think. And how would I do that? I think maybe just a 50 and then setting it to like a certain number and then just moving it up and to the left. So it kind of has that like under underglow kind of thing going on. I mean, it, it, if it's slow, it's not gonna have the vibes that I gotta speed it up on 50. And then I'm gonna make sure that it has no object glow naturally. So let's just take a look at that. Okay, now that is bad. You see the black outline? It doesn't go above the pulse right here which is really unfortunate. We want to layer that underneath so it blends in more. And I think B1 might be the way to do that. Yeah, you see, that's so much better. Let's start scaling this up. Does this look better? That, look, that does look better. So I've deleted the perspective shift, essentially, to try and create like cooler outlines on the outside. I think that looks better. Like there's a bunch of black layers just scaled down to create that really thick outline that you see. And then this is layered on top, and then this one's layered behind, scaled up, so that it covers it up. And because it, it, it it's basically a mask, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if I moved that to a, a different section, or if I put it all on T2 or something, you would see it doesn't actually look like that. There we go. That's how it actually looks. Anyway, black line. We're doing this a similar strategy to earlier, where we scale down the line so there's a black edge to it, and we're layering this line underneath the circle. So now hopefully there's going to be like another little line gimmick. I forgot to color it, lol. That's awkward. So now we're just replacing our regular saws. Why every time that I copy paste this, does it gain like 4 billion groups? Infuriating stuff. Where did that group come from? What? Like, where are the saws going? Yeah, this might be the end. That's pretty much like all I've really got in me for today. We fixed the background of the level, which is really funny. This part's looking a lot more neat, a lot more spacey, even though we removed the space background. Haven't touched it at all. This part also haven't touched. We haven't touched the first three parts, but I'm just going through because I want to show showcase at the end of every stream and every day, every video. I'm dead, but the new part is cracked. It's been nice to just chip away at a brand new part in this day. Like, look at this. This effect is beautiful. Maybe a little bit unbalanced, but we have a sick background. Really proud of that. 
two and a half hours into the stream. We've got the golden pathway to the end of this. We've got three more days to finish that and I'm hyped. Look at all the backups there now. Thank you so much for watching this day of build week. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe and have a good day.